Hello, I'm Thomas Dinges and today I would like to show you a short demo of the open shading language implementation inside of the Cycles render engine. So it's now possible to use your own custom OSL shaders inside of Blender. I will show you that. Lucas Tönne implemented a great OSL script node here, which you can open and find under the converter category. I will then just open up my OSL shader which is in that case a simple Fong material. As you can see here, that is the code, the actual source code of the OSL shader. It has a few input and output variables, such as color, exponent and normal, and an output value, the BSDF. Now the node will take these values to create the actual input and output sockets. So let's try it. I press compile and as you can see, the node now created the inputs and outputs, like color and exponent. And now we can use the shader here in Cycles. I remove the diffuse shader here and connect my Fong shader. Change the color a bit. And start rendering. And as you can see, it works fine. I can change the exponent value and you see that it changes here. I will show you another example and uh, that is a checker texture. So this is also written in OSL here. As you can see it's only a few lines of code and the input and output variables again. I press compile. It generates the input and output sockets. Now I can connect this to a glossy shader for example. Let's change the values a bit and one of the two color values and start rendering. And as you can see it now also renders the checkerboard pattern. So please keep in mind that this is a very early version of this OSL script Im implementation in Blender. The workflow will probably change a bit still but you can already give us feedback and uh, write comments and uh, we hope you like it and thanks for watching.